Good morning. What we are talking about today is Newton HMI solutions on Ian Wing. This is our agenda today. In the first part, I will introduce what is human machine interface (HMI), what is Ian Wing library, why Ian Wing library for HMI, and a demo video to show how to use GUI builder to easily create GUIs for HMI. In the second part, I will introduce Newton HMI solutions and the related development systems. Newton HMI solutions contain three product series based on ARM9, Codex M4, and Codex M0 core. In the third part, I will talk about how to select a suitable HMI microcontroller for your system. And the appendix is our product selection guide. In this page, we will explain what is HMI and what is Ian Wing library. First of all, HMI stands for Human Machine Interface. Simply, you could consider it as a LCD or OLED display with graphical user interface (GUI) to help people to interact with the HMI through touch control. The second, Ian Wing library is a set of software tools, APIs, and libraries which is provided by Sager. Ian Wing library could help engineers to easily create GUI, save the development time, and improve the quality of GUI. The second, Ian Wing also provides multiple basic shape APIs. If you don't like the existing graphic widgets, you could use these APIs to customize your own widgets. Beside these two, Ian Wing supports ISO 8859-1 font character and contains a BMAP conversion tool to transfer different image files format into BMAP format. Let's go to the details about Ian Wing library. At first, the most important tool in Ian Wing is GUI Builder, like the figure in the right side of this page. GUI Builder is a Windows tool which is a platform including many graphic widgets, and engineers could use these widgets to quickly build their GUI without writing a column of code. How to use GUI Builder? To easily create GUI. Simply, the process of GUI design only includes three easy steps. The first step, open GUI Builder on Windows. The second step, use built-in graphic widgets to design your own GUI. The third step, save to generate the code of GUI. In the next page, we will show a demo video to explain this process. Please refer to our demo video. Besides the Ian Wing libraries, Nuvatone also provided a unique GUI template for users, including lighting control, timer control, power monitoring, and volume control. Check the online link below to see the demo video on YouTube. In the part 2, I will introduce Newton HMI solutions. For HMI solutions based on Ian Wing, Newton provided three product series. The first, N9H series, based on ARM9 core, up to 300 MHz core speed, contains three sub series named N9H20 series, N9H26 series, and N9H30 series. Support up to 1024x768 resolution display. This is the high-end solution. The second, M480 series, Codex M4 core, up to 192 MHz core speed, support up to 320 x 240 resolution display. This is the middle end solution. The third, NUC 126 series, 
Codex M Neural Core up to 72 megahertz code speed support up to 320 x 240 resolution display this is the low end solution currently there are four development systems including nk nih20 nk nih30 nk bad m487 d and nk nuc 126 d more detailed information will be discovered in the following content. New Micro NIH series based on Omni Core. NIH series contains three sub series, including NIH 20, 200 MHz code speed, NIH 26, 264 MHz code speed and NIH30, 300 MHz code speed. Here I want to emphasize three key points about NIH series. The first, this series use multi-chip package technology to build in from 2 MB to 128 MB SD-RAM DDR memory, which could reduce the EMI effect to shorten the product development time. The second, this series adapt LQFP package compared to BGA package. LQFP package could reduce the layers of PCB to save the total bone cost. The built-in SDRAM DDR memory also reduced the demand of PCB area. The third, this series provided a highway motion JPEG codec and hardware 2D graphics accelerator, which could increase the speed of image processing. More detailed information about hardware accelerators will be discovered in the next page. Then I want to mention two important parameters about HMI solution selection. The first, the supported display resolution is from 320 times 240 to 1024 times 768. The second, this series support RGB display interface and I80 display interface. NIH series contains Huawei motion JPEG codec and Huawei 2D graphics engine, both of these two Hardware accelerators could obviously increase the imaging processing speed. For showing the performance of hardware accelerator, test results based on hardware and software methods are compared and showed in these two tables. As you can see, for JPEG decode processing on NIH20 series, hardware method processing time 4.8 millisecond is around 36 times faster than software method 176 milliseconds. In this page, I will introduce a reference block diagram based on new micro NIH series. Simply, this block diagram will contain four parts. The first, a system host microcontroller to fulfill the system functions which are not related to display control. The second, a touch controller to provide the capacitive touch function. In NIH series, built-in resistive touch analog to digital converters. The third, an external storage device to store the mass GUI images. The fourth, a display to show the GUI images. New Micro M48 series based on Codex M4 core. New Micro M48 series support 320 x 240 resolution display. There are three key points about M48 series you need to know. The first, 192 MHz code speed to shorten the image processing time. 
The second SPIM design supports high-speed SPI flash assays, clock speed up to 96 MHz and has 4 bit more. The third external bus interface supports I80 mode interface display, which could bring better display performance than SPI interface. This is a reference block diagram based on new Micro M480 series. Similar with NIH series, this block diagram also contains four parts. The first part, a system host microcontroller to fulfill the system functions which are not related to display control. The second, a touch controller to provide capacitive or resistive touch function. The third, an external storage device to store the mass GUI images. The external storage includes USB storage, SD card, and a spy flash. The fourth, a LCD or OLED display to show the GUI images. New Micro NUC126 series based on Codex M0 Core. New Micro NUC126 series support 320 times 240 resolution display at 15 frames per second. 72 MHz code speed is used for the image processing and showing the image on the display. Two sets of SPI interface are used for connecting with external data flash and the display. This is a reference block diagram based on new Micro NUC126 series. Similar with NIH series, this block diagram also contains four parts. The first part, a system host microcontroller to fulfill the system functions which are not related to display control. The second, a touch controller to provide capacitive or resistive touch function. The third, an external spy flash to store the mass GUI images. The fourth, a LCD or OLED display for showing the GUI images. Compared to M480 series, NUC126 series doesn't have I80 more display interface, USB 4-speed host, SD card interface. Here we want to show two successful stories about Nuvatone HMI solutions. As you can see in the reference block diagram, both of these two cases include two microcontrollers. The first case is a coffee machine. NIH26 is used for HMI control, and M451 is used as system host microcontroller. The second case is a 3D printer with Ethernet function. NIH30 is used for HMI control and M487 is used as system host microcontroller. Nuvatone HMI Solution Summary Selection Guide This is a summary table about all Nuvatone HMI solutions. Based on the display resolution and the performance demands of end equipment, engineers could choose a suitable microcontroller to complete the HMI design. In this page, we want to introduce the criteria of how to select a suitable HMI microcontroller. Engineers could follow below three steps to complete this task. The first, Decide the system structure, refer to part 3 of this material. The second, select a LCD or OLED display to confirm the size, resolution, and interface. The third, check selection guide to get the microcontroller who matches the specification requirement of display and the system. Nuvatone HMI Development Systems now Nuvatone provided four development systems on HMI microcontrollers including NKNIH30, 
N K N I H twenty, N K bad, M four eighty seven D, and N K N U C one twenty six D. More detailed information is on Newton Ian Wing web page. The link is shown in the button of this page. In this page, we showed information about HMI microcontroller development process, including the first IDE tool, compiler, software development environment, the second ICE tool, hardware, the third in chip programming tool, ICP tool, software, the fourth mass production tool, hardware. For IDE tool, engineers should prepare it by themselves. For in chip programming tool, ICP tool, software, engineer could download it from Newton website. For ICP tool and mass production tool, engineers could purchase it from Newton online store. This page shows Newton online resources, including website, forum. Online store, social media, and open Newton page in GitHub. In part three, the topic is to introduce how to select a suitable HMI microcontroller. Engineers could follow below three steps to complete this task. The first, decide the system structure. The second. Select a LCD or OLED display to confirm the size, resolution, and interface. The third, check selection guide to get the microcontroller who matches the specification requirement of display and the system. System structure one contains two microcontrollers. MCU one is used for LCD control only. So there is no need to have an operating system on MCU one. We showed the reference block diagram of MCU one in page fourteen, seventeen, and twenty. The selection of MCU one depends on the LCD resolution and the interface. MCU two is used for system function control, which is shown as system host in page fourteen. Seventeen and twenty. The selection of MCU two and operating system depends on the system requirement. There is a successful story about coffee machine in the bottom of this page. For LCD module control purpose on MCU one, non OS is workable. System structure two used only one microcontroller. To fulfill the LCD control and the system function control, because this kind of system doesn't need to use Ethernet or CAN interface, there is no need to have an operating system on this microcontroller. For the system which don't need Ethernet or CAN interface, non OS is workable. System structure three. Also used only one microcontroller to fulfill the LCD control and the system function control. Compared to system structure two, this system need to use either Ethernet or CAN interface. So an operating system such as Linux or FreeRTOS is necessary for the system which need Ethernet or CAN interface. Operating system such as Linux or FreeRTOS is highly recommended. Both of these two successful story is based on the system structure one. The benefit of this kind structure is to make the system function stable. In this page, we introduced a product selection guide. Engineers could refer to this product selection guide and decide which part number. They could use based on the display resolution, display interface, and other specifications. Simply, for consumer electronics, engineers could use the part numbers in the red rectangular. For industrial electronics, engineers could use the part numbers in the blue rectangular. This page 
introduces a selection guide for NIH series based on different system structures. The microcontrollers in red rectangular are suitable for the design of system structure 1 and 2. The microcontroller in blue rectangular are suitable for the design of system structure 3. In this page, the supported LCD drive IC are listed in the table. Engineers could check this list to know if their LCD drive IC are in the list. The following contents is the appendix about product selection guide of all the HMI microcontroller solutions.